The waterproof user bag contains a user manual along with clamps and fittings. Remove the two retaining transit screws, one either side of the heater. The second wheel is fitted in an identical manner to the first. Unpack the external thermostat and hold the white socket. The locator boss on the socket means it can only be fitted one way. The removal of the cover exposes the electronic components which may need changing. This is the control box itself which controls the safe running of the heater. Remove the core of the heater to show the service replacement items. Items to be replaced on a regular maintenance are the two electrodes, the fuel nozzle which is held in the fuel nozzle carrier. Unscrew the fuel bulb from the housing. The bottom of the filter is easily recognisable by the circular groove. Put the filter into the bowl and press down until it sits firmly. Screw the fuel bowl back into its housing. Make sure the air intake is at least one metre away from any obstruction. This will allow clear airflow. Troubleshooting. The function light has four phases which indicates a possible fault. It will be off, flashing orange, steady red or steady green. Depress the reset button for 10 seconds and a second series of colour codes appear. The following stills explain each condition. Pause the video at the appropriate place. Three stage rocker switch. One equals constant heat, zero equals off, and two equals thermostat controlled. Control box reset.